Welcome to Ornaments of Grace, stories for Advent and Christmas. We read from the Gospel of Luke on this Tuesday of the first week of Advent. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Jean Vanier served in both the British and Canadian Royal Navies leaving the armed services in 1950 to pursue studies in philosophy. The focus of his research for his doctorate was on happiness, which Jean then defined and now as loving and being loved. He went on to teach philosophy at the University of Toronto. Then, in 1964, he acted on his dream to make a place of refuge for men and women with mental disabilities, a safe place, an ark of sorts. He bought an old farmhouse in France and invited two young men to join him. His initial desire to do something for the men evolved as his childlike friends revealed to him Jesus' great love. Together, they created a community rooted in the spirit of welcome, sharing, and simplicity. That was the beginning of the L'Arche movement, which over the years has welcomed into its faith-based communities thousands of men and women with mental and physical disabilities. Today, more than 100 L'Arche communities can be found in 26 countries in Europe, Africa, Asia, North and South America. Vanier believed that Jesus is hidden in a very special way in the poor and in the broken and in the suffering. Yes, Jesus told us God reveals himself to the childlike. Jesus came to change the whole order of things, reaching out to all marginalized in any way, Remember, we're all disabled in some way. We're all poor and broken in some way. We are small and powerless before the forces of life, as children are. When we realize this and bring ourselves as we are to Jesus, God will reveal his great love for us in ways we could never imagine. When we reach out to the poor, to the blind, to the lame, to the sick. We are loving and being loved by an infinitely loving God. That is true happiness. Jean Vanier is our third ornament of grace. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Observing the beautiful ornaments. How can you reach out to persons who need to feel safe, free, and dignified? How can you hold your brokenness and suffering out to Jesus so he can heal and strengthen you.